Okay, 13-2 stem and leaf plots. I went ahead and put the information up there just to save a little bit of time. So you'll probably want to hit pause on the screencast and get all of those numbers um, into, you don't have to put them in a table. Um, and in this case, you, you don't even have to put them in order. Um, a stem and leaf plot is just that. There's, there's going to be a stem right down the middle, almost like the trunk of a tree. And then our leaves are going to come off the branches on the side. So it will look something like this. Um, we're going to have something across the top. And then we're going to have something vertical. So this will be our stem. And off to the side will be our leaf. OK, so you notice in our numbers, we've got anything from single digits. And our highest number, I believe, is 26. Um, yes, our highest number is 26. So our stems are going to go by tens. So to do single digits, for example, if I took the number 9, it's going to be 09. All right, so let's go ahead and take all of our single digits. Let's start with the least of them. We're going to have 06. Again, we're going to put these in order. Um, 08. And then we've got, um, oh, see, I've already made a mistake. Again, this is, this is one of the reasons why we write in pencil. So we can go back because I missed 04. And then 06 and 08. And then we have two 09s. That should take care of our single digits. Now we're going to go the next one up, which is going to be our 10s. We do have a 10. We have an 11. We have a 13. We have a 15. We have a 17. And we have an 18. Again, we take the stem and put it with the leaf. 04, 06, 08, 10, 11, 13, 15. And now this is going to be our last stem. So it's going to be our 20s. And I see a 20 there. So we'll start with 0. And then I see a 21. And then I've got a 24. A 25. And finally, it looks like I've got a 26. So I started off with 16 pieces of information. Let's see if I have 16 numbers. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. And we are good. So that's our stem and leaf plot. Again, just a little different way of, of listing it. OK, so there's a lot of stuff we could do at this point. Um, we're going to go ahead and find the mean. We're going to find the median. We're going to find the mode, which is all stuff that we've done the last couple of days. That's not very good. E. Let's fix that. And on this one, we're actually going to find the range, which will be lowest to biggest, or smallest to greatest, least to greatest. Let's get my words right. OK, so let's go ahead and find the mean. We're going to add up all the numbers. OK, we come up with a total of 236. And so we're going to divide that by our 16 numbers. 236 divided by 16. And we're going to come up with 14.75. We're going to round to the nearest tenth. So there's the 7. That 5 is going to make that go to 8. So my mean is going to be 14.8. Now, if I want to find the median, they have to be in order from least to greatest, which we have already done. We have 16 pieces of information. 
Okay, so halfway in the middle is going to be our um, our seventh, or actually, let me do this. It's going to be our uh, eighth and ninth piece of information. So we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Our eighth piece is 13. Our ninth piece is 15. And so what I will do with those is add them up together and get 28 and divide by 2. So that makes our median 14. So we have a mean of 14.8 and a median of 14. Our mode, we just look at numbers. Uh, we have two nines. Let's see, we don't have any multiples in the 10 digits. We don't have any multiples in the 20 digits. So our mode is going to be 9. Now, our range, we just take our smallest value and subtract it from our greatest value. So range is going to be our greatest value, which is 26, subtracted from our small value, which is 22. Okay, so a mean of 14.8 or 14 and 8 tenths, a median of 14, a mode of 9, and a range of 22. That's STEM and Leaf Plots. We will see you tomorrow.